Okay, welcome, welcome. My name is Rosebud. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a tarot divination reading for the weekend ahead. Um, so take what resonates with you and, uh, and uh, leave the rest. All right, great. So I'm going to start with a prayer to kind of cleanse all of the negative energy and we will begin. Goddess of the moon, God of the sun, I ask you to come bless this reading. Align me with divine grace and wash me in eternal love, blue and purple light. I ask Mother Earth to protect me with all five elements, fire, water, earth, air, and spirit, and grant me knowledge of collective consciousness. This flame doesn't want to stop burning. <laughs> Sometimes it's like that. Hmm. Wow, it's doesn't want to. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm just going to cleanse myself. So, uh, this reading will focus on the present moment. So, we first focus on the masculine energies and then we focus on the feminine energies. Um, let me take a look here at what's blocked. Got it. So, the first thing that we're going to do is take a look at the masculine energy, then, we're going to take a look at the feminine energy. So masculine and feminine energies live within us. We intertwine and integrate between both of them throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the, throughout the month, throughout the year. Um, no matter whether your gender is female or masculine, it doesn't matter. Uh, we are either in our, our feminine energies, in a passive state, um, embodying the earth element or the water element, or we are in our masculine energies um, in the more active state, embodying the fire element and the air element. Okay, so after I take a look at the general energies of the masculine energy, of the masculine energy, masculine collective and the feminine collective, I will be taking a look at the recent past. So we're going to see, you know, uh, what's been happening a day ago, a week ago, a month ago, um, whatever you just experienced recently. Then we will take a look at the present energy. So I will be taking a look at your current physical state, your emotional state, your mental state, and your spiritual state. I know it's getting really bright because my flame just ignited here. The fire just doesn't want to... fire is just like really intense right now and I don't want to burn my apartment down <laughs> okay we're just gonna leave it I'm sure it's okay <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys the fire like look look at this look at this flame oh can you see it <laughs> This kid is on fire, like legit. All right. Okay, we're just gonna move that curtain. Okay, we're gonna fix my setup here because I just kind of messed up my setup trying to show you guys my ultra flame. A little bit of a perfectionist so this kind of happens once in a while all right 
after we take a look at the present energy, so the physical state, the emotional state, the mental state, and the spiritual state, we will take a look at your future state. So what's happening in the next day or so, next hour, next week, next month. It really just depends on how long it takes you to go through this present energy to kind of reach the future. All right, wonderful. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the masculine energy and see what's going on with the masculines at this time. All right. Spirit, please show me what's going on with the masculine energies. What's going on with the masculine energies? All right, I'm going to blow out this flame because we don't want uh, any fire alarms being set off. Whew, that's intense. <laughs> okay. Show me what's going on with the masculine energy, please, spirit. Show me what's going on with the masculine energy. Please show me what's going on with the masculine. Do not carry with you your mistakes. Rise up from the ashes. See a new beginning in every day. And at the bottom, you got offend no one and yet speak the truth. Be clear with, be clear with and kind with your words, never harsh. Yeah, oh, man, totally. Um, so I'm just gonna take a look at the feminine energies before I kind of get into that message. Show me what's going on with the Feminine Collective. Please show me what's going on with the Feminine Collective. Oh, she got two cards again. She got two cards at the beginning of the week. And it looks like, again, she's getting two cards. Let's look within for a place of rest. Your temple of the heart. I believe that happened already last week. Exert yourself with thoughts of benevolence. Be soft in your speech. And at the bottom, oh my God. There's no right or wrong path. There's only the path that you chose, that you choose. Okay, so I feel like the masculine and the feminines are definitely mirroring each other quite a bit. Um, with the masculine really learning to not offend anybody while he speaks his truth. Because his truth comes from... Truth usually comes from a belief or an idea that transpired in our past, in our upbringing, in our knowing. And this truth resonates with us. It stays with us. It's clear to us who we are and what we see um in our world hey there punch drinker i'm trying to check out your emoji there so the masculine i feel is learning to um be clear in who he is and what he has experienced obviously you know right or wrong bad or good whatever he has witnessed or experienced whether that was unfair or or fair he is learning to not fight fire with fire, meaning really being honest in um, integrity, learning to speak to others with direct clarity, factually, um, with compassion, to not offend anybody even though they are speaking truth. So even though you are speaking truth masculine, you're learning to be kind with your words and not harsh, but clear. Thank you for those heart <laughs> emojis. So the masculine is learning to not carry any type of mistakes, especially if he in the past was very reactive to situations that were unfair to him or situations that kind of caused him pain. And he is learning now to kind of rise from those mistakes, not carry it with them and see every day as a new beginning, 
so a new way to be kind, to be nice, to be more positive, to take action in a more uh, clear manner and knowing where he is headed, knowing what he wants. So interestingly enough, the feminine is resonating quite a bit with this because I did kind of channel today um, quite a bit uh, this information that, you know, you know, did, did she go out down the wrong path? Because it seems that, you know, she is right back where she started. She completed this full circle and it's almost like she created a whole entire detour in her life and only ended up back where she began. But I kind of had this like realization, well, no, like we are constantly living in cyclical patterns. You know, when we climb, we go in circles, we go through seasons, we go uh, through rhythms. We're, it's not a straight line. We're always going in circles in patterns and that circle just gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until it integrates within our soul as a whole truth. So I feel like in this case, you know, there is no right or wrong path. Like there is no detour. There is no wrong way. Like the feminine is realizing, okay, she had to go down that path in order to, to experience uh, the experiences she needed to experience. And um, she chose that path. So her soul chose that path for a reason. She had lessons to learn uh, in order to be able to be the best that she can be or who she is becoming. And right now I feel like, you know, she's learning to find peace in that by finding that place in her heart that kind of brings her that love, brings her that harmony. She's more connected now to a broader picture and that allows her to feel more fulfilled emotionally. Um, and that also allows her to be more compassionate. So really looking at the masculine while the masculine is kind of learning to not be so harsh with his words and learning to be more clear and direct, right? The air energy, masculine energy. The feminine is learning to be more soft, more watery uh, in order to not, let's say, react because of harsh experiences, but learning to be, you know, softer, um, you know, compassionate, kinder. It doesn't mean that she is weak, but it just means that she wants to be able to um, not only keep a nice, peaceful mind, but also um, share love into the world, share peace into the world, but also share the experiences and the information and you know the wise um experiences education knowledge you know whatever she went through with the world in order to kind of show a better way right because what's the point if we fight fire with fire what's the point if we fight ego with ego what happens chaos war problems right people don't want to agree on an idea they have to believe that we're all separated that we're all diverse that we're all different even though that's not true we're not we're all the same we're all whole we all find each other in, in each other, namaste. So there's really no point in um, fighting yourself, right? Reacting to yourself. If someone is, you know, harsh with you and that triggers a, a memory response, you know, looking at that person as like, okay, that trigger came into my life. It surfaced into my reality for me to look at it. And thus by looking at it and responding in a different manner, I can finally let this trigger go, right? So I feel like the feminine is learning that while the masculine is also learning to not have to destroy everything when something goes wrong, but instead learning to be more factual and direct and clear in order to uh, eliminate any type of manipulation, confusion, you know, uh, uh, corruption that's the word I was looking for corruption because if you are clear and direct and you don't you don't speak from a place that is angry or a place that is frustrated but from a place that is um, th these are the facts this is what I have been presented I am just being clear and direct with you here is the information and there you go right you are more likely to get what you need as opposed to you know being uh reactive uh speaking from a place of anger um be just because you received that first or just because you received an injustice or just because you received uh you know it, there's so much corruption in this world um because of you know power kind of going into the wrong hands uh, people growing up in uh, abusive households, people growing up in angry environments, people growing up with uh, generations of, of survival instincts that kind of led them to um, 
act in that way and all we can really do is take on that feminine energy and learn to be you know more compassionate and send love to the, into the direction because you know anybody that um presents any type of pain or 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 corruption or injustice or anything like that you know even the most evil people in the world they are just very broken people inside they're very hurt inside and that is um that is where we need to learn to see those individuals as a part of us in order to be able to kind of heal that hole, right? All right. Yeah. Cool. So let's take a look at what's going on in the past energy. So the recent past could be like, you know, um, an hour ago, a day ago, a week ago. Uh, whatever you just kind of recently experienced. Spirit, show me the recent past. Show me the recent past for the Conscious Collective. Resurrection. I love you. I love this. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> okay. So in the recent past, I feel like, you know, resurrection. I mean, literally the masculine here is talking about rising up from the ashes. You see that? What synchronicity? Rising up from the ashes and seeing a new beginning in each day. So obviously the masculine recently went through a very harsh ending, a very frustrating situation. You know, who's to blame? No one. You know, it's not about who's to blame, but... The situation transpired unfair not fair it was your experience and the masculine is learning to kind of resurrect himself and become free of that become free of those burdens become free of that pain become free of you know any mistakes that he may have created from this past it's, it's not who he is anymore right the soul constantly goes through an evolution you can undo any type of limiting patterns or behavioral patterns that you were born into, right? We spend most of the, our lives learning to undo the things that are not us, right? We're consistently taking things off because we're in that place now where we can do that. This is a world where we are now learning to um, go through a spiritual evolution, to grow as a collective on a spiritual level. So as a soul, you know, we're all just trying to kind of find ourselves inside. So you know, the masculine went through a recent resurrection and obviously he feels very free. He could be dancing. He could be enjoying the, the new freedom that he's kind of uh, received. The beauty as well that has transpired because of this resurrection. You know, when a butterfly or a phoenix, for example, burns up into ashes and it comes out and it's like the most beautiful thing in the world, right? Literally, the masculine is going through that kind of loving his colors, loving the things that were created because of this um destruction this burn this fire um this trauma these mistakes whatever would have transpired he is now kind of stemming from the ashes and feeling stronger right coming out more free more alive and you got future love letter i love you at the bottom um i look at this energy like every time i see this energy i see it in many different forms you know he is looking at a mirror right now he's kind of writing a letter to himself i see him kind of writing a letter to his future self right and he's telling himself you know in the future you know i love you so sometimes it's like really important to uh, recognize that you know who were you in the past do you remember who you were and were you expecting to be where you are at now and learning to do that like you never know what you're going to experience later so it's important to remind yourself that you got to love yourself through all seasons through all timelines um but writing even just a letter for yourself like you know i love you you're great um is a reminder that you can read that in the future and that will actually you know help you feel better especially since like you kind of know that life goes in circles it goes in cycles up and down up and down it's not always positive but it's not always negative either um but i also see this energy a little bit differently especially if you 
feel like you want to share love with another but you don't know how or you don't know how to communicate it or you can't reach them um this really helps to kind of write things down and write that love letter um even if you don't plan on sending it it's good to kind of like release it um but you know this could also mean that you will send a future love letter to someone that you care about um because you want them to know how you feel um but again this is more of like looking at yourself in the mirror and writing yourself a love letter that you know tells you you know how, how amazing you are sending compliments to kind of um have you have you read something in the future that might uh, uplift you let's say when you're not having a good time or you're not in a good mood so it's really nice um i feel like too like the masculine may have come through because i see this really much like the masculine energy here uh resurrected to kind of realize you know nothing really matters but love right nothing really matters but love so we should tell the people that we love that we love them as much as we can because you know love transcends all limiting beliefs or ideas or ideals regardless of the pain that um surrounds us all right awesome So let's take a look at the present energies. We're going to take a look at the physical state. I just had a deja vu. Let's take a look at the physical state. have deja vus like all the time i mean not all the time sometimes they come like like in a lot like if i'm going through a spiritual awakening <clears throat> i can like as a psychic i feel you know i feel the circular patterns so meaning like the deja vus remind me that i'm in a circular pattern so sometimes i'll have a deja vu that resonates with my dreams or sometimes I'll have a deja vu from a vision that I may have had when I was younger. Or sometimes I'll have a deja vu from an experience from a past life. Or I'll have a deja vu of the future and I know that it's the future, but I've seen the future before. And it's kind of like I'm seeing every timeline at the same time. It's really impeccable. Like, it's crazy. Um, and it comes in a moment. Sometimes it doesn't even make sense. Like, I just see multiple timelines in one state. Like, they all kind of come together in one and I see it for a moment and I understand everything. It's like, it's crazy. Um, so that kind of happened to me just now, but it was, this one was very light. It was a very light one. It was very light. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't like the one I just described to you guys. Okay. <laughs> so let's take a look at the physical state. So this is your present situation. So you could be dealing with this um, whenever you're reading this reading or throughout the weekend. And your physical state is, you know, um, how you're feeling in your body. You know, how is your health? How is your um, strength? You know, how is your physical physicality? Um, how are you showing up in the world when it comes to like work, you know, your home, um, anything tangible? It's the earth element. So it's really about your structure, your stability. So that could reflect also in your money, your career, <clears throat> um, your day job. And how people see you, so your physical appearance, for example. So this is your physical state, you know, your 3D reality. Show me the physical state, please, Spirit. <clears throat> Show me the physical state. Of course. So Nurture came out already at the beginning of the week. So it's nice that it kind of showed up again. And this time it showed up with Dance Portal Let Go. Um, and then you have miracles. Um, I'm loving that. I'm loving that so much. So, you know, I feel like the feminine is learning a lot to kind of get into her heart space. So you can see here how, you know, she's learning to get into her heart space. And as a result, she's becoming more soft and she's not overthinking the choices that she makes, right? She's learning that there is no right or wrong path. There's only choice. There's only free will. And that free will is created because, 
you know, we've been giving free will by the universe, by the divine, you know, we are, we are in the embodiment of the planet, right? We are the embodiment of the elements. So we have free will to be able to manifest whatever it is that our soul desires to learn at this time. We are, we are soul spirits here to drive around in this beautiful world as soul vehicles to figure out what it is, you know, who we are inside, to be closer connected to the divine, to God, to the universe, to our light essence, right? So I feel like the feminine now is kind of learning to release all of these logical um, perceptions that keep her from indecision, for example, or keep her from acting on her impulses or her emotions or her intuition and learning to kind of release that rigidity that may have came from, you know, certain belief factors, certain trauma, certain experiences that kind of made her hard and needing to kind of make logical decisions because that's what makes sense, right? I feel like now she is learning to nurture herself and take care of herself when she needs to. So do the things that make her feel right. So this weekend, you're going to be definitely nurturing yourself, spending more time in nature, and just allowing yourself to let go. So you could be dancing, you could be doing yoga, you could be flowing, and just being more free instead of having a certain kind of like set schedule or or structure. Of course, it's important to have, you know, you want to have a structure in place. That's why the masculine order exists, right? Um, the divinity, the divine is masculine and the femininity, the earth, the planet is feminine. And it's not about, you know, who's right and who's wrong. It's about embodying both of those elements, both of those energies in order to create harmony. So by having that structure, sorry about that. I just like messed up the view there. By having that structure, we learn, we learn to be able to be wild and free in our emotions and in our intuition and all of these things within a structure. And I feel like the feminine now has learned that those patterns, those rules, whatever. And sh instead of kind of like holding on tightly to them, she's learning to, you know, be more free, letting go, dancing, um, not thinking twice, being more in tune with music, being more in tune with her body, her mind, her soul, more of like in an emotional state. So after nurturing herself and realizing kind of like what she needs, she needs more fluidity. Um, and that is you know healthy so i want to say too that that is how we manifest miracles and how the feminine stays so empowered and abundant in the universe right because she is in flow with nature she is in flow and in tune with energy and by doing so she is aligned that way with her path by being more um calm and being more kind of in tune with her with her intuition with her emotion and where that's kind of making her flow her soul is kind of making her flow in that direction and it aligns her more with miracles it aligns her more with with uh abundance with prosperity with blessings right okay i kind of messed up the clarity here on my bed i mean it shows up really close when i show um close <laughs> show the close-up but i do kind of want you guys to see it clear as well when I'm not close to the camera. Um, there we go. Okay, so let's take a look at what's happening in your emotional state. Let's take a look at what's going on in your emotional state. So this is, you know, your emotions. How are you processing your, your feelings? What are you dealing with on an emotional level? How does your heart feel? Spirit, show me the mental, uh, sorry, the emotional state. Please, Spirit, show me the emotional state for the conscious collective. Show me the emotional state for the conscious collective. Show me the emotional state for the conscious collective. Please, Spirit, show me the emotional state for the conscious collective. Show me the emotional state. Wow, your Spirit's just giving two cards at a time right now.
yeah emotionally i feel like you know the masculine and the feminine both of them have been through certain elements that have created a certain truth right they have learned to be able to to speak their mind in a very you know kind way as opposed to the harsh realities that they have experienced in their past and you know at times we carry that in our emotional body especially when we're kind of waiting for a certain karma to arise right the consequences of the actions that have transpired and not just the actions that we have done but the actions that have been performed around us right what is the balance you know where is the justice what is the karma you know what's going to transpire after the experiences that have been recently transmitted but understanding the law of karma you know what i mean even when you're treated wrong or you feel like you need to react in a certain element emotionally i feel like right now the masculine and the feminine energies are learning to be more open-minded with the cloud meditation taking a more higher route a higher perspective in order to be able to create karma you know in a positive direction because when we react negatively we actually create that karma it's not negative or positive it's just a lesson to learn we cannot understand another person's shoes until we live this so if we're reacting harshly towards another we have to make sure that we understand that you know we are creating a lesson there where we might have to understand it or learn it eventually so i feel like in this state in the emotional state the masculine and the feminine energies are learning to take a higher perspective so again you're seeing here with the equalizer the higher self in order to kind of balance the situation especially let's say if you know the scales were kind of tipping in one area too 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 much it's really just kind of tapping into that essence you can see here how she's kind of carrying um this is actually a spike or like a sword or whatever that is and it's it's a sword that carries a lot a lot of energy a lot a lot of love a lot a lot of compassion and taking that higher route in order to kind of um look at the situation from from a place of love as opposed to a place of pain so being more uh responsive and you know taking a pause before you say something or you react or you judge a situation because you know you know there's limits you know what I mean? There's limits to things. There's limits to society. And that's why masculine exists, right? To be able to create structure in the world, to be able to create order. But those limits are perceived based off of experience and perception of what that limit should look like. So it's really important that when we create, you know, a structure or a judgment that we are not making that judgment call from our own ego. So from our own pain, from self um self um inflicting uh, uh desires but from a place of understanding looking from both sides of the situation right very libra looking from both sides both uh uh situations and making sure there's justice in that in order for the karma to be fair all right cool so let's take a look at the mental state Let's take a look at the mental state. So what's going on in the mental state for the conscious collective? What's going on in the mental state for the conscious collective? What's going on in the mental state for the conscious collective? What's going on in the mental state, please, Spirit? What's going on in the mental state? Mental state, please. Two cards again. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> so much energy wow um yeah <laughs> i really want you guys to see this so i'm like really pulled into this moon and this sun energy like the feminine the masculine energy and then combining those two energies and creating a certain kind of concoction of essence. And that is the truth. That is the truth here that she carries. And she's wearing this like pink dress, which is all about the crown chakra. So that is information from divinity, right? That is like the essence, the divine 
um, channel the truth of like, it's the hierarchy, the higher, higher information, right? And the moon, the you know, the feminine, the masculine energy kind of coming together, recognizing, you know, there's a time to be in darkness and there's a time to be in the day, you know, light shines on darkness and light is found in darkness. So I feel like right now the masculine and the feminine are, you know, that concoction, that mixture of feminine and masculine energies coming together in order to create perfect unity, to, be, to create union. So whether you are a twin flame or you have a soulmate or a partner and you have a relationship with another, you could be coming into union with someone and balancing those feminine masculine energies in a perfect way. However, this could also be you as a person, as an individual, balancing those masculine energies and feminine energies within you in perfect harmony and thus creating this amazing essence, this amazing concoction. Um, I totally have to agree with this. And because this is in your mental state, this is how you're thinking, right? So you could be um, feeling, thinking, you know, how to balance your masculine and feminine energy. Some days you want to be very active. Some days you want to be very passive. Or perhaps you want to be able to learn to be, you know, very active during the day and then learn to be more passive into the night. Um, for example, for myself, um, my business is called Soul Food Fitness. So I focus on spiritual aspects. So tarot and astrology. Um, so a very spiritual essence, a very feminine essence. Um, and then there's yoga, which is very feminine. And then, you know, fitness is very masculine. It's very active. It's very go, go, go. It's very, you know, structured. You know what I mean? So there's a balance there, you know, between feminine and masculine energy. So that's kind of how I'm integrating it in my day. So just an example on how the thought process could be happening here. Learning to kind of integrate that masculine and feminine energies. Learning to be, you know, in the dark and allowing nighttime to kind of take in that nice softer side of yourself and then allowing the daytime to reinvigorate you and take action and, and light you up. So um, I really like this energy with compassion at the bottom. I feel like, you know, by balancing the masculine and feminine energies, you know, you are learning to respect each other. Like you're learning to understand each other you're learning to love your masculine energy and you're learning to love your feminine energy whether you're in a relationship or not in a relationship it doesn't matter and by doing that you're learning self-compassion you're learning self-forgiveness you're learning a lot of different aspects about yourself because when you look in the mirror every single day right some days you see yourself embodying a more masculine energy well how does that make you feel can you love yourself in that state are you loving your masculine energy and some days you look into your feminine energy and you're asking yourself, am I taking care of my feminine energy? How am I nurturing my feminine essence? You know, am I taking, you know, baths or, or, or you know, uh, resting, napping, yoga, dance, whatever. So really learning to love, you know, both aspects and showing compassion as a result. <clears throat> All right, so let's take a look your spiritual state this is a really nice reading i must say this makes me feel like the weekend is just going to be like very like you know high up there and really like in flow and like relaxed and like just like uh legitimately like embodying um a complete intuitive flow and harmony between your mask and feminine like i can just i feel that integration all right so let's take a look at the spiritual state. What's happening in a spiritual state? So your spiritual state is, you know, how are you maneuvering in the spirit world? You know what I mean? Are you telepathically communicating with another? Do you share a strong soul connection with your soul family? Um, what spiritual lessons are you learning at this time? Um, what energies are you tuning into? Because pay attention, we are all intertwined and connected. And given the fact that we all have technology these days, we transition quite quickly from 4D to 5D. What is 4D? 4D is kind of like the in-between between, between uh, you know, physical structured reality separation and into kind of uh, a thought process that goes into divinity or spiritual energy, which is like psychic energy and being kind of more in tuned into the subtle energies of the universe. So technology kind of allows us to do that because 
I don't know if you guys watch Social Dilemma on Netflix, but you totally should. I watched it for a second time uh, last week and it hit me differently this time. Um, legitimately, like, you know, our computers, our technology, our phones, they know everything about us. These devices know everything that it has that has to be going on in our minds. Literally, they they have like telepathic receptors that pick up on our brain waves and are able to understand the information that we are transmitting. And half the time you were literally having a telepathic communication with your device. So if you feel crazy sometimes and you feel like you were absorbing thoughts that are not yours, pay attention to what you're watching on your media. How is that making you feel? And what is coming out as a, as, as a result? So for example, if you have been through like a narcissistic relationship and you're healing from that trauma and suddenly your whole entire Instagram is filled with narcissistic quotes and and uh, and healing you know channels you know that is your device listening to you and your mind so pay attention keep positive thoughts um, in order to kind of manifest uh, positive you know information in return so the spiritual state so let's talk about the spiritual state this is more like you know really true intuitive connections with you know other spiritual beings that are very aware and awakened um nature being very in tune with what's coming um kind of like an i ching perspective uh, i mean loads of stuff what are you experiencing on a spiritual level how are you going through that evolution what is your soul learning at this time right so show me spirit the spiritual state for the conscious collective show me the spiritual state for the conscious collective totally tradition that's you know i i i'm actually kind of like shocked but not shocked because we were kind of finding that balance the first half of the reading is very like flow kind of very feminine um not so much attached to a certain structure very like you know letting go and being kind of intuitive with one's body and nurturing oneself and being in a very uh, meditative state and like kind of flowing in that essence and embodying the masculine and feminine energies to kind of like work together um and then we have like tradition at the bottom which is like you know following a certain structure that has worked for quite some time you know and that's and that is how we create symbols in this world and how we create meaning you know tradition is really about creating a certain type of label that is positive it's only when it's become manipulated that it becomes something that can become dangerous. I feel like you are learning about that. Like you're learning about what is healthy structure and what is unhealthy structure as you learn to kind of undo those rigid limitations that are no longer yours, being more free. And thus learning to actually be able to implement a new tradition or um, learn kind of new meaning or new sense of a tradition and, and kind of embodying that in your life. How do I want to really like get this so you guys understand? So here I am going kind of back into religion, but it's it's really important that individuals understand the aspect of scriptures and how to read that because I feel like that is so important and it's it, it resonates with all of this. Um, religious scriptures and how we read them are worded in such a way that every time you read it, a new meaning will transpire inside your soul. Why? Because it is based off your perception of reality. When you're reading the scripture, you will see it how you see yourself inside. So let's say, for example, you haven't done the work and you are in your ego. You will read the scripture and see it as a form of power, right? A form of greed, a form of mine, 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 I, I, I. But if you have done the spiritual work and you have released those type of uh, dogmatic limitations, egoistic, you know, ideas, you know, you've done the shadow work, you've gone through those kind of spiritual evolutions to, to, to reach that state of love, right? Release as much pain as you possibly, as you possibly can. When you read the religious scripture, you see that that God that is, you know, mentioned in the Bible or mentioned in all of these other different scriptures is from the inside and thus God is life and God is, you know, surrounding us and all of these things you realize that that is an essence that you carry inside of you, right? It is about wholeness. It's about reaching that spirit, that love, that light, that beauty, right? Without all of that judgment. 
So um, I feel like in this case, as you're, you know, releasing old limitations based off of experiences, traditions, um, traumas, any type of pain body or or ideas of who you once were that is no longer you and you're going through that resurrection and you're releasing all of that, you're burning all of that away. Um, you're, you're getting in touch with your feminine energy, you're getting in touch with your spirituality, you're getting in touch with your soul, you're kind of embodying that balance between masculine and feminine energies and that creates change, right? It creates a transformation. You learn to kind of intertwine those dual aspects of yourself and the world and thus creating a new perspective on your traditions. So a new perspective like on your religion or a new perspective on your spiritual belief or looking at the signs and symbols of different, you know, spiritual aspects of your life in a different manner, right? In a different perspective, in a different viewpoint, right? So it's not about re removing those traditions. It's about learning to become closer to it. It's about learning to see it in a completely different way and, you know, changing the 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 structure that you have implemented based off of these traditions right creating a new tradition or or innovating or or um um looking at it from a higher perspective like for example if you you know if you're let's say for example you're christian or you're catholic and you're you're about to do lent or you're muslim and you're about to go through ramadan and you're about to fast you know fasting for some can feel, you know, very exhausting and they don't want to do it. And that's their perspective on that tradition that it's very rigid for them and they don't want to take action. But from a spiritual standpoint, when you take a, a kind of a spiritual viewpoint and you really a access that uh, spiritual body, you can see that tradition from a completely different perspective and see that, you know, fasting can bring you a certain enlightenment it allows you to be more in control of your mind it allows you to be more aware of your body it allows you to pay attention to your thoughts pay attention to your fears pay, pay attention to the places that where you find lack right insecurity so um really kind of creating that change in order to uh see your traditions from a completely different viewpoint right understanding that you know we're all the same we're all the same. We're all we're all reaching and searching for the same thing. And those traditions are are there to kind of um they've been there for a very long time and we utilize or embody those traditions in the way that we see ourselves inside. So however we are seeing ourselves inside that is how we create healthy traditions or we see that tradition in order to work for it in our lives. All right, awesome. I really went into that. Okay, so let's take a look. <laughs> let's let's take a look at the near future. So the near future is, um, you know, it could be a day from now, an hour from now, a week from now. It really doesn't matter. It's it's literally um, as soon as you were done going through this present energy, that is when the future will transpire. So it could be you know during the weekend, it could be after the weekend. It just depends on how long it takes you to. Um, go through this state all right hold on <laughs> spirit can you please show me the near future can you please show me the near future please i know i'm speaking fast in this reading but there's just like so much energy like coming out like so much information to share that it's like i feel like it's gonna run away from me all right Spirit, show me the near future. Show me the near future, please, Spirit, for the Conscious Collective. Show me the near future, please, for the Conscious Collective. So 
I'm really like kind of pulled into this fire energy here. But this is a mother who's protecting her child. And I feel like, you know, in the future, you might need to make certain choices in order to protect your baby. So it could be like, you know, a human baby. It could be literally your child. But it's also that motherly um, instinct to protect what it is you have built. So let's say there's a project that you kind of are birthing into this world or you have birthed into this world. Whatever you have raised, right? It's anything that you have been nurturing and taking care of. There's this type of per, like very protective energy that could be transpiring in the near future. And that creates certain choices in your life in order to make sure that you are able to protect that energy. So you could be making choices moving forward that are being made in order to protect something that you have been nurturing for a long time or something that is very important to you. Um, and, you know, that in some form can create power. It can create kind of a sense of, you know, this is, this is my baby. This is what I've created. But in a way, it also creates empowerment because you are learning to be strong and knowing in what it is is yours and what it is that you want, right? What you have built. But... Really finding that balance too between a thirst for power. What is it that you're trying to achieve with that? How can you help others? What is your why, right? What is your reason? So I feel like certain choices that you may be making, you know, you're, you may be doing that to protect yourself right now, but don't forget about, you know, what your why is, you know, where are you headed with this? Um, because a mother, you know, it, that has a child in danger, she, if her child's in danger, there's no time to think about her why. Her why is her child is in danger and her intuition is saying, like, I will do anything in my power to make sure that no nobody hurts my child, right? So really being um, um, perceptive of your actions and choices and making sure that you're making choices that are healthy for you, of course, healthy for others and nourishing to your well-being and not because you're trying to protect something that is very important to you which of course is very important to you so paying attention to that it's also about you know paying attention from paying attention to any type of ego mindset or fire element that might be too active or burning you saw that that flame was really burning at the beginning like burning and so you want to make sure that your actions are are um, coming from a good place, even if you are acting right now from a place to protect what it is that is important to you. And, you know, also paying attention to what's happening around you. You know, others may react towards you because they're trying to protect something that is important to them. So just making sure that you choose wisely or with awareness um, as you're moving forward. All right really nice so that was your tarot reading i hope you guys enjoyed that if you would like to book a tarot reading you can just go to the bio and book a session if you're watching from youtube just go to the description you will see a link there to go straight to my booking page to book a reading with me you can either call me while i'm live or you can book a session it's really up to you if you want to pre-order a reading you can just go to the About Me section and go to the store and you can actually order readings. And if you're watching from YouTube, again, there is a link there, www.soulfoodfitness.ca slash service dash merchandise, which will actually direct you towards um, pre-orders. So tarot readings that you can um, order ahead of time. They are written at this time. I am not doing video ones yet, but I will written ones where you can kind of order a reading and I will deliver it to you within one to three business days in written form with a picture of your tarot spread. Thank you so much. So um, I'm wishing you guys like a fabulous weekend and wishing myself a fabulous weekend. And um, I'll see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. EST for Hatha Yoga. Talk to you guys soon. Blessings and namaste.